Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Draven Academy. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the exact steps that you're going to need to follow if you want to get yourself a CDL permit. Now, if you live in the state of New Jersey, this is exactly what you're going to have to do. If you're living out of state, every state could be a little bit different when it comes to the actual permit process, depending on what's happening with COVID in your state and how strict your governor is and so on and so forth. Here in Jersey, we have a little craziness happening, so this is what you're going to have to do. I broke it down into two steps. I guess it could be three steps, but let's talk about it. First step is you're going to have to purchase your CDO permit. A lot of people think that you actually have to schedule this appointment online. Unfortunately, you cannot schedule your CDO permit online. What you actually have to do, you're going to have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning or get to DMV at 4 o'clock in the morning because if you wake up at 4, get there at 5, instead of being one of these people online, you're going to be probably this guy or you might be all the way back over here. That being said, if you're going to wake up early, why not just do it, do it once instead of waking up early twice because you definitely don't want to be this guy here. The way this process works is as long as you're there early enough in advance before DMV opens. DMVs in Jersey open up at 8 o'clock a.m. Okay, so that being said, if you're there 4 o'clock in the morning, you are got to wait 4 hours. Make sure you bring a blanket, something to eat with, and maybe a nice recline chair. Take yourself a nap, some headphones, do whatever you got to do to entertain yourself. But you're going to enjoy this 4-hour wait versus getting there late and not being able to do it. Now, once you actually get there, make sure you have all the proper documentation that you're going to need, which means $125 to purchase a CDO permit in New Jersey and six points of identification. You, so what are the six points of identification? You're talking about things like a driver's license, passport, birth certificate, a social security card, proof of address, health insurance card, anything like that. Bring as much stuff as possible, as possible because you don't want to get all the way to the front. Understand that you don't have all the information that you need, and then you're going to have to wait all the way back in line. The way that this process works individually is each DMV has a set capacity of who they can actually see during the day. So that means say it's 200 people, 150 people, 300 people, depending on the DMV that you go to. They're going to be giving out the first couple hundred people an actual card. Once you have that card, then you're guaranteed to be seen that day. If you don't have that card, that means there's no guarantee, which means you can kind of risk it. You can wait in line to see if something opens up and things move faster or you can just go home and try again the next day. That's why it's very important if you're going to do it, do it once, do it right. This process is probably going to be the most painful process of your CDL career. After this, and you do this right, you don't have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning ever again when it has to dealing with a DMV. You're probably going to have to wake up 4 o'clock in the morning depending on what kind of truck driving job that you choose to get. After you get your CDL permit itself, then it's time to take the test. Now, in order for you to take your actual CDL test, the test is going to be done on a computer. So this is my fancy computer that they have at the DMV there. And it's going to be multiple choice A, B, and C. Sometimes they even give you D. That being said, uh, before you can actually take the test, you're going to have to go online, and that's when you actually schedule the test itself. So the way that process works is you're going to go online, schedule the test. Once you schedule the test, then they're going to give you a one-hour block to take the test. Now you can take as many or as little tests as you like. First test that you're going to have to take is going to be a general knowledge test. That's going to be 50 questions long. You're going to have one hour to complete that test. If you complete, if you complete that test in less than an hour, then you have the ability to take the next test, which could be air brakes or combination vehicle, in that same exact hour. However, if the hour does expire, then you're going to have to go back and reschedule another written exam itself. That being said, once you schedule the test, then you can go to that DMV, take the test, multiple choice, be on the computer itself, and you must get a passing rate of 80% to pass the actual test. Anything less than 80% is no good, which means on a 50 question test, you get, you can get a maximum of 10 questions incorrectly. Now, if you want a secret on how to pass this test, there's something called a skip button. In most states, they offer a skip button, and you can definitely check out the video link below where we have a full description on the best way to take the test and pass the test the first time. Now, when it comes to this stuff, you definitely want to make sure that you can pass the first time because, like I said, you have to wake up 4 o'clock in the morning just to get to this part here. And the more craziness things get, the more backed up the tests are going to get, which means as of right now, we're filming, tests are about 2 to 3 weeks out when it comes to scheduling. Some locations are even longer. So you want to get this stuff done as soon as possible. And you want to make sure you can pass the test the first time. Because if you don't, it's going to take you even longer to get your permit and uh, ultimately get your license itself. So, 
Let's give you a pop quiz if you feel like you're ready. If you're stopped on a divided highway, where should you place your reflective triangles? Now, if you don't know the answer to that question, you're not ready to take the test. The answer is going to be, you're going to place your three reflective triangles behind the vehicle. A 10 feet behind, 100 feet, and 200 feet behind since it's a divided highway. If it's an undivided highway, then what you're going to do is, you're going to place one in front, which is 100 feet in front, two behind the vehicle, 10 feet, and 100 feet behind. That's a simple question that's going to show up on almost every single test, so make sure you understand that question and many, many more. And I don't want to hear, oh, I would have known it if there was multiple choice, because why take that risk? You just had to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Take the test, pass the test the first time. If you want pretty much a guarantee to pass that test, you want to come in here to Driving Academy. We offer an online training program or an in-house training program here just to get you ready for the actual written exams itself. Those course, that's included with many of our course options that we do have here. All you need to get started with us is $500 down, then we can give you access to the course where you can either do it from home or you can actually do it here at our facility itself. It's the same exact course and that course has a 95% success rate. Because once you pass this test, then the fun part begins. Now we can get start getting you ready to pass the road test. And when it comes to being a student here at Driving Academy, we can guarantee that we get you that license by giving you unlimited tries at the road test itself. And we're actually going to be the ones giving you the test with our own third-party testing site. So if you have any questions on how to get your CDL permit, maybe you want some training on how to pass the test itself so you don't have to waste too much time, or maybe you want to know what our third-party testing site's all about, you can get all those answers by giving us a call, 908-525-3609, or you can take a virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Our mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom. So far, we're like 35,000 people in. we got a long way to go, so let us help you so you can help us get to our goal of our dream. And remember, if you learned anything, wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning so you can be one of these people online instead of this guy who's probably not going to get seen. Thanks. If you have any questions, give us a call again, 908-525-3609. Have a fantastic day.